In this video, we want to demonstrate um, the element symbology options available in Drainage and Utilities. I'm going to bring up the element symbology uh, dialog real quick. Just to show you, we've got um, element symbology can be set up for the utilities, so gas and, and electric and those kind of utilities, and then we also have drainage. So you have the two um, two tabs here to represent two different types of data that you can pull in and represent um, text to represent any of the properties on the utility properties. <coughs> and you um, can display those once you've set some up. So you can see in this file I've got several already set up here. So the default labels only, physical, inverse. And depending on which one I select, you'll see um, like for example physical inlets it's only displaying um, text about a catch basin it's going to display the label the inlet type the elevation the invert elevation as well now to display those in open roads designer or open site you know in drainage and utilities um, you would go over to the a 2d view in my case view one and under the view attributes we have a toggle and that toggle is use analytic symbology. So that's how what controls whether we display it or not. So I'm going to toggle that on. You can see here uh, it's reading the two tabs from the element symbology, so the drainage or utilities, and then, then the predefinitions or symbology definitions that in this case that are preset for me. It's pulling from that list. <clears throat> All right, so I've turned those on, so you can see. That the, in, the information shows up in the view as text. So again, I can control what's being displayed here on the element symbology. So I can turn off, for example, the spread. You can see that goes away. I can turn off the invert elevation. That goes away. I can turn on um, Let's say inlet type. I can turn on inlet location and show that. <clears throat> if I switch to a different preset one here for this file, for example, labels only, it will switch it over just to labels. So everything just has a label. And in that case, if I expand all that are being used. You can see the conduits are being labeled with their name. Um, catch basins are being labeled with their name. Manholes, outfalls, and catchments. <clears throat> so that's what you see. Now the under drawing, under the drawing production I can access my drawing scale and just take a look at that real quick and some behavior that you might see. Now typically I'm going to be in a 50 scale a lot of times, so I'm going to switch down to one inch equals 50 for my plan. And what you'll notice is my text got really large, so this analytic symbology text. And as I zoom in and zoom out, it kind of goes away. So it's not reading that scale, so if I turn the annotation scale lock off, now when I zoom in, the text is back to its normal size. So having that on, you might notice that kind of behavior. You can turn it off, or again, you could switch to a one inch equals one foot scale while you're viewing these these uh, element symbology. So I'm going to switch to um, back to a different one. So let's say physical back to physical inlets. Let it switch. <clears throat> Um, and I'm just going to take a look at how this particular one's set. Um, so you can see, um, let me let me change a couple of things here. So let's turn off the inlet location. Let's turn off the inlet type. And maybe I want to add the spread. So we've already set up that here. So I'm going to turn it on. And you'll notice that it ends up on top of um, or in between the the name and the um, the name of the node and the rim. So if I go down here to where maybe I have one, 
node, you can see it looks looks fine there. But in that other case, <coughs> up here things are on top of each other. And so you could you could um, I could make the text smaller. I could come in, for example, and just just show you here. I'll pick or the invert elevation one. So let's pick that one. Right click, edit. <laughs> You can see all the different um, things that I've got set up about this particular catch basin. So I've got the label, the inlet type, the location. So these, so if I look at, for example, the one I'm editing, uh, elevation invert, you can see that its um, position is zero feet to the left or offset x direction minus 20 down from the actual node. Um, it's pulling the field name. Or the, or the property elevation invert and it's got a prefix and if I want to change the height I can come here and say like let's say 0.25 something small apply that and you can see the text gets small you set that back to 1 apply and the text goes back to the original size so that's you control the text height here in this portion. If you want to change the font, the background, that kind of stuff, you do that with your text tool in the in the in the um, drawing. So here for example this, these it's reading the active text style. So if I just access that, for example I can access that style from the place text tool, grab my text style dialog, and let's just change the font. Let's change the font to um, narrow. Let's change. Let's add a background. So we add a background. Let's change the background color something gray. There, so it looks gray. Let's change the border color to match. All right. Make those changes. I'll close that zoom in and zoom out just to kind of get it to refresh and you can see so you can do stuff like that too to change the font but again the height has changed over in the element symbology so analytic symbology you have it turned on or off through the view attributes and then the rest of it is controlled on the from the utilities view element symbology <coughs>